Hey guys, it's me, Martin Core. Today is Sunday, and right now I am currently making something that I hope will be fantastic. I am currently making Dutch apple crumb cake. It says and muffin mix, so I could have made it into muffins, but I only have um, one like muffin pan, and it's like um, this can make like 12, and I, it only has room for six, so I'm just gonna make it into bread. I have here an 8x8x2 eight eight um, bread pan basically and I'm going to just mix this batter up and pour it in and put that in the oven for like 40 minutes I think is how long it takes to, uh, to bake. So it smells fantastic. It smells like apples and beautifulness and it's the perfect like autumn kind of snack. So that's kind of why I'm making it because it's deep into fall here. Um, Except it's really hard to tell because there's not that many deciduous trees in uh, in this area. Um, everything is, um, or sorry, uh, yeah, deciduous. Um, everything we have here are uh, conifers or evergreens, and so it's green like all year round. So when it does become fall, you can tell when it gets chilly, uh, the sky gets cloudy, and um, the occasional trees have their leaves turning and they are falling down and that is just kind of like the mood we're in especially since it's uh it's almost halfway through october and yeah it's just that time of year and i, I do like fall it's not my favorite time of the year um that's obviously christmas but since it's the prelude to christmas i do enjoy it quite a bit because it's just like get through these months and then it's christmas and i'm like yeah and um i've already started thinking about what videos i'm going to do for christmas but that's months away. What I am working on right now is the Halloween videos. And um, those are coming together quite nicely. I've got a cool little intro for them. Uh, the face cam works. All that stuff. First one I did was Never Ending Nightmares. Uh, this looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to let that sit and uh, let the oven preheat. First um, one I did was Never Ending Nightmares. And uh, Evil Within comes out on Tuesday, so I'm going to do a few videos on that. And some people wanted me to do Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm worried it won't be very entertaining because I've seen the whole game um, through playthroughs. And I I don't think it's going to be all that fun to watch. Like, 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 if I went in not knowing exactly what to expect, I bet it'd be a lot more entertaining. But I know exactly what's going to happen, more or less. So... I'm not sure it would be the most entertaining. If you guys really want me to play Five Nights at Freddy's, I will play Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, but I'm just letting you guys know now that I, I know the game, and um, it's not as, uh, like, fresh to me as other games might be. So, like, Evil Within, I know I haven't seen anything on it, so when I play that game for the first time, it's going to be fresh and, like, something I've never seen before. So, there's that. So uh, I'm looking forward to that quite a bit, especially since it's uh, Five Nights at Freddy's is more of a like a jump scare kind of a game, and uh, Evil Within has like a story and there's shit there to it, kind of like how um, uh, Never Ending Nightmares is an atmospheric kind of game. It's not a oh here's a scary thing blam kind of game. So you know I'm gonna poke around and play some horror games uh, throughout the month periodically, and uh, Batman is coming along very nicely. Um, I'm enjoying the hell out of that game. I really am. And Legend of Korra comes out next week. And uh, I'm just kind of keeping on top of like schoolwork and stuff. Like tomorrow I need to go down and um, do... Oh wait, hold on. I need to grease this pen. And um, go to uh, a city council meeting. And like kind of sit there for a few hours and listen to them talk about stuff. So I can uh, write some stuff in my journalism course about it. There we go. Heavily grease my pan with coconut oil. Mm. Lovely, lovely stuff. So yeah, there, that's that's going on tomorrow. Um, I also have a quiz in the morning, but um, this class is weird. Where um, nothing's graded except for the midterm, so it's all like teaching tools, and um, it's more like a completion thing. So it doesn't matter how I do on the quiz as long as I know the material, or I will know the material when the midterm comes around. So it's the, everything we do is like a study tool for um, for the midterm. So yeah, as long as you do it, then you get like a hundred and so on and so forth. Yeah. So hoping that the uh, it will go well. I'm feeling pretty confident about it. It's just key signatures and major minor scales 
and stuff like that. If it's like, here's a B minor, you know, harmonic scale, what's the key signature? And then you draw the circle of fifths and you can figure it out, no problem. No problem. So yeah, um, let's see, after this I'm going to... I've already taken care of uh, tomorrow's episode. I think I might do um, uh, Wednesday's uh, Martin Court Plays um, on something. Probably a scary game, if I'm being honest. I don't know which one yet, though. I'll poke around and see what I can find. So yeah, um, I will uh, check in with you guys later on. This bread could not have come out any better. Let me, let me just cut off a little square. Show you guys just how amazing this is. It's one of those things where I wish you could smell it. It's it's so good. Oh my god. Let's pick this up. Come on. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Blam. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Tastes like fall in a little square of apple leaf cinnamon bready goodness. It's awesome. It's so good. So, yeah, I'm eating this and watching Rick and Morty, which is Oh, uh, yeah. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. Almost have, like, a big square of this and some ice cream. So, I'm just gonna munch on this and then probably make, like, a real lunch of a uh, maybe a roast beef sandwich, something like that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Cooking with Martin Court. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to eat cookie dough. Step one, get a spoon. Step two, get cookie dough. Step three, eat the cookie dough. Enjoy your cookie dough.